Alright, so today I had a mock exam for my programming course and um, I had to use a lab machine, a computer. Uh, so today I decided that I'm just going to use electricity because I explained in one of the blog posts, Lent is actually 47 days long, so I actually get 7 days off. So I thought today would be one of those off days. Um, so I've basically spent all of today charging everything. <laughs> I'm using the camera because I managed to charge that finally. Um, charge phones and stuff. Um, and it's weird, like, being able to, like, turn on lights and stuff, like, wow! <laughs> That's incredible, like, just light on command. And, um, yeah, because I've just got completely out of the habit. Because um, before in, like, I think it was vlog 5 or something, like, I remember, like, accidentally turning on hot taps and lights and stuff, but now I'm out of the habit. So going back again is really, re really weird. Um, and using the fridge and stuff, because, um, as I said, I've been... I've been using um, electricity for foods now, just for my health. Um, and yeah, it's, it's so weird. Because if you remember, I was using a bag <laughs> as a fridge, uh, but um, now I've actually got a proper place to put my food. Um, and yeah, and using the hob as well is really strange. Um, because I had no idea, these use so much power, like anything where you have to heat things up and radiators and stuff. Um, to give you some context, this TV uses about 200 watts. So about 200 bits of energy every second. Each one of these uses 2000 watts, 10 times the power of a TV. And I'm pretty sure the radi radiator uses about 1000. But I had no idea, no idea for this challenge. Unlike microwave, it even says like 800 watts somewhere. Yep. But like I had no idea because from physics classes, we learned that the only thing that can be 100% efficient um, it are heaters because usually energy is lost as heat. Whereas in a heater, that doesn't matter because you're trying to heat stuff up uh, anyway. So you're trying to convert everything into heat. So I. Since heaters are the most tend to be the most efficient things, you'd think they'd use less power if they're more efficient, right? But actually, they use the most power, uh, which really shocked me. Actually, uh, I had no idea. Um, yeah, and um, these phones, what I've been charging. Uh, this I found secondhand. Uh, didn't, doesn't matter about the display, all I cared about was the battery, because this poor thing, <laughs> this poor soul, uh, only lasts about two days um, from full charge. And it tries its best, but it's, it's, it's no use. Uh, whereas this thing, um, it's got a thing called ultra power saving mode, and I'll, uh, I'll actually show you it. It becomes an absolute gladiator, it just refuses to die, it just keeps on going, and if I just turn it on... Uh, that's the estimated usage. Um, that's on standby mode. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. But anyway, it um, makes the screen go grayscale. It um, underclocks the CPU. Uh, it limits... All you can do is what it says there, basically. You've got a limited selection of apps. Um, but it does all sorts of crazy stuff, because the screen... Uh, is a type of OLED, which means that black pixels, um, each pixel can be lighted individually, and black pixels, when you, they can be turned off, that's why they're, they're black, so they don't actually use any power. None of this black stuff on the screen is using any power. So that saves, like, the screen is the biggest use of power in any, like, mobile device, so um, that, like, that saves loads of power, basically. Uh, so it's this is the real deal, like, you get your, um, your typical, uh, oh, how do I turn this off? There you go. Now, you get your, uh, bog standard power saving mode, but this thing is the real deal. Um, where is it? Uh, it's somewhere. It's at the end. There we go, there's your power saving mode. Um, but yeah, uh, I, when I received this, 
in the mail. I was hoping that the uh, previous owner would actually charge it a bit. Um, hoping to get maybe a, even a fully charged phone, but I got it and it had 4% left. So I was scrambling to like turn on airplane modes, uh, battery saving modes, um, and then ultra power saving modes. But um, at that point it was at like 2%, I wasn't sure if it was going to last, but it just kept going. It, got, um, it lasted a good, like it lasted over 12 hours on that last 1%. And during that time I was, I checked my email twice and sent uh, on two separate occasions and sent an email um, and browsed the web all on one percent. I was I was expecting this thing to die, but it, it just didn't. Uh, although I think it might not be the the percentage, ba the battery percentage that it displays might not be a hundred percent reliable, because at one point it went down to zero percent, and then we checked it later on and it was back at one percent. So. I know it's efficient, but I doubt it's that efficient at conserving power. So, uh, and also, I was charging it using this um, panel. Actually, it um, goes up 11, 12, 13 percent, then just like, sort of changes its mind and goes back down to 12 percent, back up to 13 percent. So, yeah, I, if there's one thing I've learned from this challenge is that it's very difficult for devices to measure their own power level. And that cl that includes batteries, uh, battery banks, and phones and all sorts. Um, yeah, um, the last thing I want to talk about was the dynamos on the bike, because I've received another four in the mail, because I was hoping to double my power output, or at least approximately, because added friction and stuff, so maybe not double, but... Um, was going to install it, but decided against it, because... First off, it's really frustrating <laughs> messing with those dynamos, I hate it. Um, and then if I decided to pay someone else to do it, like we, I don't think it'd be worth it because it would only last like a week anyway. It would, um, like the bikes are almost, the, the tyres are almost worn smooth now. Um, so I haven't really been using the bike or the dynamos. Um, yeah. But what Zeke did suggest was that we take the coils and the magnets out of the dynamos and we set it up in a different way so that we have the coils maybe attached to the uh, mudguard or something um, so it's facing sort of next to the wheel. Then we'd have the wheel spinning and attach like strong magnets around the rim. So as the wheel spins, magnets would fly past the coils and generate electricity that way. Um, and that should be a lot more sustainable because um, right now, un ironically, it's not very sustainable because it's not going to last. Um, the stuff's just going to get worn away, either the tyres or the plastic um, knobs that twist around. Uh, but with this setup, the um, the only friction would be sort of through electromagnetic induction. There wouldn't actually be anything rubbing against anything else. It would just be that. So. Yeah, that should be that might be for a future project, I think, because we haven't got much time left now, and it'd be easier if I can like look up stuff online. So I think after these 40 days are over, I'm gonna keep like looking as like a sort of side projects. I'd keep like looking for like ways to be more sustainable. Um, and another thing is like I'd like to modify the software on um, both the phones actually, and try and um, get a better ultra power saving mode because uh, I think there are still things to improve like whenever I get a notification on this the screen will turn on like even if I don't actually want to see it at that time um, if you accidentally press one of the buttons when it's in your pocket the screen will come on which wastes power again um, so I think there are definitely things if I can hack into the software and mess around with it I think I can make an even better ultra power saving mode and I'd probably give it like a, a way cooler name like um, Super Mega Foxy Awesome Hot Power Saving Modes. <laughs> That's a reference to uh, a very Potter musical, by the way. If you're a Harry Potter fan, definitely recommend you check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, yeah, so I'll definitely try and continue being sustainable after 40 days, but I'll definitely want to use electricity because I don't think I can take many more cold showers. I don't know how some people do it. Some people do it anyway. Like, they just have cold showers just, like, every day. I don't know how you do it. Like, respect, but I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> I'll do it for the rest of the week, but 
Man, I'm... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not gonna work out. Um, I guess, like, for some people it's better because they come from, like, a hot climate or... And, like, the cold water is, like, cool and refreshing and stuff, but... I guess it just depends on the person, but me, no, can't do it, sorry. I've had it, I tried, but that's it. Um, I think that'll be it for me from today. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out the blog post if you want like more detail on stuff, because um, after this is over, once I've got reliable access to internet, I'll probably sort of update the blog posts to try and make them different from the vlogs, because right now I sort of repeat what I've been saying, and there's no use like seeing the vlogs or the blogs. Um, anyway, that's it. That, that's it for me. Bye.